Cat Kid Comic Club by Dave Pilkey. <clears throat> Chapter 1 Ideas. Hey guys, welcome to the first meeting of the Cat Kid Comic Club. Hooray! This is Lil Petey. He's a president. And I'm the vice president. How come Molly has to be vice president? Yeah! Because I caught it first. I got dibs. Rats, no fair. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, Melvin. Can I be a vice president too? Um. Hey, I want to be vice president. Me too. But you can't all be vice president. Says who? I'm going to be the senior vice president. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll be the, well, I'm the supreme vice president. I'm the triple double secret vice president. I'm the national vice president. I stand. I'm not the universal glow. I'm the universal CEO of global vice management times infinity. You can't do that. You're fired. Daddy! What's going on? Startle fired me. From what? Um. I forgot. Well, we are to a great start. Yep. I fired him from the tonic club. Oh, yeah? You can't. Oh. Oh, yeah. You can't do that, Startle. Told ya. But he was trying to hide all the glory. She was too. If you guys can't behave yourselves, then Loopy is going to have to go home. Is that what you want? No, no. Then you better straighten up and fly, right? Okay, sorry, Daddy. So if everybody's on being a pain, now let's get started. Thanks, Molly. Today, we're going to work on ideas. So everybody grab a pencil and draw a line on your paper. Like this. Now on the left side, write five things you love. Okay, now on the other side, write five things you, you like to do. Sweet. Would anybody like to share their list? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Melvin. Behold. Actually, that's pretty good. Now let's try and think up an idea by using stuff from Melvin's list. He created a dinosaur who likes to brush his teeth. Or a nerd who likes to annoy people. Or a nerd who likes to annoy people. I got it! I'm gonna write a comic about a toothbrush named Dennis who wants to be a lawyer for dinosaurs. And I shall call my masterpiece. Ta da! Okay. Now everybody, now everybody be quiet. I'm working. So let's be uh, quiet, I said. Okay, well, now we work on this comic. We thought we show you all something. Done! Already? Beef your eyeballs. There's a toothbrush. One to be a dinosaur. What the fuck? One time there was a toothbrush named Dennis. Who wanted to be a warrior for dinosaurs? So, yeah. The end. About the other. Mom the Frog. Mom the Frog is widely known as, a, as a, one of the world's most important major voices in graphical literature. He has won countless awards for his genius and awesome humility. He's also been assessed as by countless generations and stuff. Kind of soon. Dan is a tuber. He wanted to be a dancer who wrote to Cretaceous Court. Well, that was dumb. Hey! We do not talk to each other like that, Naomi. Well, I'll just be honest. Do you need to go you do you need to go sit on the time at rock? No. Then you need to apologize to Melvin. I'm sorry your comic was dumb. And so Worst day ever <laughs> What and so Worst day ever don't worry, Molly. Things will be better tomorrow. How could they get any worse? Chapter 2. We quit. Uh, hey, guys. Welcome to Day 2 of the Cat Cake Comic Club. Excuse me. Come excuse.
Excuse me, Molly. Before you begin, Naomi has something she like she something he she like to she to say. Naomi. Um. Well, I I'm sorry. So you kind of dumb, Melvin. I mean, it wasn't very good at Naomi. Um, at least I mean, hi. I didn't even do that. So I'm sorry for being mean. Okay. You may continue, Mom. All right, guys. Anybody want to share their comics they're working on? Anybody? Did anybody work on their comic last night? I can think of any good ideas. Me neither. I'm not good at art. Yeah, I can't draw good. So nobody made a comic last night? I tried, but it was dumb. I ripped mine up. I can't spell good. Uh, no offense, but me and Summer quit. Yeah, no offense. Why? Comics are just one of our things. Sorry, dude. See you later. Wait! What is your thing? Some likes photography, and Stella is a poet. Oh. Well, comics don't have to be stories. They could be poems. And you can illustrate comics with photos. We can? Sure, you, you can work together on her. We can work together. Uh, yeah, why did you say so? We're back in. Let's go. And I write some new haiku and I'll get my camera. And the rest of you, I'm so disappointed. Fear, fear, fear. You're all a bunch of fraidy frogs. You're scared to make me mistakes. You're terrified of messing up. Molly's right. You're afraid to fail. So you didn't even try. You guys want to be in this club, then you got to get over your fears. So your assignment is tomorrow is to fail. So your assignment for tomorrow is to fail. They want us to fail? Yeah, big time. But uh, how? Tonight I want you all to make a comic that is terrible. Yeah, I'll make a, a super dumb. Yeah, make a super dumb one. Embarrass yourself. I can do that. Me too, I'm good at embarrassing myself. Where does comic get a prize? Can we work together? Of course. Awesome! We're gonna fail together. Let's go! Make a lousy comic. Disaster, here we come. On United, we shall lose. Are you kidding? Sure, you know what you're doing. Nope! Chapter 3 Four Fabulous Flops. Hey guys, it's day 3 of the. CKCC. Did anybody fail miserably last night? I did, us too. I am an embarrassment to myself and others. Sweet. Who wants to go first? We do, we do. Monster cheese sandwich. Study by Naomi. Car by Ping. Or by Quirky. Le learning by Ping. Mama had a little baby. The little baby was very hungry. Give me some food, man. Okay. I'll make a monster cheese sandwich for you. So she went in the fridge. But Mama grabbed the wrong cheese by accident. Mama cut the cheese. Chop. Mama cut the cheese. Chop. And she put it on some bread. And grill it. And grill it. Again. Run, little baby, run! Mother G. Sandwich attack. But that. Where did he go? Hey, give me a banana, man. Okay. Oh, there you are. Here, yeah, let's be friends. No! And then, are you okay? <laughs> Not really. Here, have a banana. Thanks. It's too late to be friends. Ne it's never too late for friendship. Except when I'm a hungry. Yum, 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 yum. 
the end. How draw the monster to you in the seventeen ridiculous steps? If you want to draw the monster cheese sandwich, if you want to draw the monster cheese sandwich, you can pause here. The story is based on the truth. One time, Daddy said. He was going to make us monster cheese sandwich, but I thought he had monster cheese sandwiches. I got scared and cried. Every was little. And now we call the monster cheese sandwich monster cheese because we think it's funny. It wasn't at first. Naomi the Great. Corky has been an artist ever since he was a tapple. His secret is to draw every day and don't give up, even if you make a lot of mistakes. Pink was really. He can play the ukulele pretty good. He also can sing and wrestle. Whoa. Kendrick the Frog is an awesome dude. He likes swimming and collecting stickers. When he is big, he'll stay up as late as he wants. That was awesome! But I thought you were supposed to make a bear on it. Mom said it could be dumb. Yeah, but it's still awesome. We have to and thank you, Bill. Bill, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do you like Daddy? Yes, but the ending was a little violent, don't you think? Yeah, we're totally violent. Okay, who's next? Me, me, me. My dog. My Pedro. My dog is big. My dog is awesome. I can have a dog. My dog poops big poops. I'll clean it up. But then some bad ninja guys attack. We will kill the world. But then they step on the poop of my dog. Oh no. We now I have to go home. No fair. Because of poops on our shoes. Is a reason. <laughs> my dog saved the world. The end. About the other animal story. Peril's nice. P this story wasn't true. It is fake. Pe Pedro really doesn't have a dog, but he wants one, but Daddy says no every time. He, but I'm, but I, but maybe I will someday when I am responsible. To draw my dog, pause here. To draw the dog's poop, uh, what? Draw, I mean pause here. Draw and pause here. Okay, wait. You can pause here if you want to draw the dog's poop. That was awesome, Pedro. Yeah, good job. Yeah, that was very good, Pedro. Oh, the party humor wasn't necessary, was it? That was my favorite part. I do not want any new kids writing poop jokes. Why? Because there, there's nothing funny about poo poo. <laughs> did anybody make a comment that isn't violent or disgusting? We did. Our comment is 100% free of offense, offensiveness. Super Fail by KD Kip and Chloe. One day, a baby was born. Happy birthday, kid. What are you? What will you name him? Super Fail. Why? Does that answer your question? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, I didn't get hurt. And so, Super Phil must be a hero. Help, help! Quick, now's your chance. Help, help! Quick, now's your chance. What is the, what's the problem, mister? That old lady just stole a toothpick, but the sizes are free. Read the fine. It's she took two. I shall stop this crime. Hey, stop. Hey, old lady, stop stealing. No way. You'll never catch me. Oh, yeah? I'll take this rope to her car, and I'll... And... 
and add my the other end to the restaurant. Don't worry, mister. And now she'll never get away. Zoom. But then, oh, oh, I'm stuck. I can solve this problem. Yeah. And so, gee, thanks for destroying the earth. But look, I think you Cupid. Hi for super fail. The end. Time soon. Super fail. Always revenge. Meet the creators. Katie tries to hang out with her brother. Kip likes computers and quesadillas. Curry likes pizza and pasta. <laughs> I thought you said your kind wasn't offensive. It wasn't. The whole world got destroyed. Billions of people die. Oh yeah. All because of a toothpick. I'm very disturbed by this comment. They're just so awful. I thought they were supposed to be awful. How about you, Poppy? I bet you made something nice. I did, Daddy. It's called a QR Fluffy Cloud of Death. The QR Fluffy Cloud of Death by Poppy. One, there was a QR Cloud. She was fluffy and dead. Hi, hi. But the sun was mean. Hey, you creeped me out. Go away. So a cute little fluffy cat of death cry and cry. <laughs> a tear watered the death flower. Yay. And Skeletal was thirsty no more. Yum. Girls girl and skeleton boy. Fun. Wait. In the puddle. I, wee, I like this game. Thank you so Thank you for the nice rain. Let's be friends, okay? Okay. It's fun to be dead. But then, hey, you guys are dead. Nobody likes you guys. Just ignore her. Just ignore her and she'll go away. And do you know what happened? Hey, losers. Hey, you, you stupid. Hey. She went away. And the moon and the stars came the About the other. Poppy's a frog who lives with her family in a camper by the pond. She has ghosts and skeletons and draw and drawing and monsters and rain. She likes to draw every day because it is fun. Also she likes dogs. The end. Do you like it, Daddy? Uh Poppy may I speak to you in private. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. Are you depressed or anxious? Um, not really. Is anybody bullying you? No. Uh -huh. Then why did they make that kind? Oh, I like skeleton ghosts and... But why was the little cloud dead? I don't know. Lots of people are dead. <sighs> hey, I'm back. Just in time. We're getting our words. Did I win? Yep. You got a prize for the weirdest time. Yay! And you guys get the word for craziest kind. Awesome! And the word for most violent is kind of goes to Super Fail. Yes! And here, Pedro, you win for the gross kind. Sweet! Let's get started on the sequel. Let me go. And they can kind of grab our poopers. And we got an idea about evil zombies. I'm gonna make a story about a dead airplane. I right, spell going construction paper. And I'm gonna make dead as a toothbrush. That's a lawyer. Two. You should probably put some dinosaurs in this time. And also, maybe a yeah. Something should happen this time. And just saying, I've got it! Murder! Alright, that's enough. Chapter 2, 4. Alright, kids. Things are getting out of control. As usual, you, you kids are taking things too far. So from now on, I don't want anybody making guys about poo or death. 
Okay, no more violence and mass destruction. Okay, right about that, are you? No! Zombies? No! Murder? No! Well, I'm out of, well, I'm out of ideas. Me too. Oh man, now we can finish our new comic. May you see it? We just need a cupboard. <gasps> nope, you can't finish it. From now on, everyone's comments must be so be wholesome and uplifting. Good values and more. Your kind must have integrity and upright virtue. And purity, honor, and ethics. Only then can we. Hey, where did everybody go? Chapter 5 The House Call. Come on, nurse lady, hurry! Oh, do you remember these doctors? It's the doctors who created Dogman. Flippy said it was an emergency. Aw, oh, it's probably nothing. He worries about those baby frogs too much. Ding dong. Oh, thank heavens you're here. What's the problem this time, Flippy? It's my kids. I think they're disturbed. Where are they? They're all downstairs in the bowling alley. Oh. But look at these comics they made. They're filled with violence and body humor. And, and, and what about, and what about death? Oh, but, uh, oh no, we must operate at once. Hold your horses, Doc. We, let's read these comics first. Good idea, nurse lady. And so, <laughs> he saved the two <laughs> Well, have you made a diagnosis yet? Uh, um, I, I think they're overreacting again, Flippy. Overreacting? But what about the violence? What about the party jokes? What about the records this is occurred from the San City of Life and stuff? Dude, that's normal. Rose makes stories about stuff all the time, and we call them artists, and geniuses, and visionaries. Look at Shakespeare. Oh, death and violence and fart jokes. If it's if it's normal and healthy for grown-ups, then why have for kids? Are you seriously going to praise a grown-up and shame a child for the same darn thing? Take a chill pill, dude. Maybe you're right. I'm always right. Let's go, doctor. Bye, Flippy. I'll try to be more chill. You better. When did you get all that wisdom, nurse lady? I have a degree in baby frog psychology. Okay, I gotta be more chill. Chapter 6 King of the Chill. Before you can start your high clock today, I want to apologize. I thought I tried to discourage you yesterday. I shouldn't have my list. I shouldn't have left my taste for everything. You can should write stories that make you happy. Write things that make you laugh. And try not to worry about what others think. You'll never be able to please everyone, everyone anyway. There will always be haters. So just focus on what you love. Do that and you'll never fail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, Melvin. We we should always do our best thing, right? Of course. And we should try to improve, right? Absolutely. Well, since it brought you up, I made an all new improvement comic last night. Want to read it? Certainly. Then the toothbrush want to be a dinosaur warrior. Two. Contagious Corporal. Bye, Melvin. One time, there was a toothbrush named Dennis. He went to law school. Soon, he was a lawyer. That was easy. I want to help dinosaurs with my with my mad work skill. So, I got a time machine and went back 67 million years. Hooray! Now, I am in dinosaur times. Soon, Dennis had his very first case. Oh, my son, Dennis. He's on trial for murder. Okay. 
but he didn't do it. Hmm, let's go! Soon, they're at the courthouse. Hi, Mom. Dad and Duke Iguana don't name my baby. Oh, please. No, I didn't. Hmm. We, well, you were guilty. So I sentence you to dinosaur jail. Aw, oh, man. Wait, I object. It's Iguana don't need no babies. Okay. Because Iguana don't a vegetarian. Well, why did he say so? I forgot. Okay, you're free to go. Case dismissed! What about my baby? What do you last see? What do you see your last time? In Guanon's garden. Okay. In Guanon's garden. Hmm, let's go there. In Guanon's garden. Hmm, let's go there. Okay. So be there. Hey! There she is. Aww, she was asleep this whole time. Let's have a party. Let's go, Faber. They all had fun and ate good food. Nom, 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 nom. Afterwards, they used Danish to brush their teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Best lawyer ever. Fun fact about the cat. Spinosaurus was on land and water. They found they have and used to heat up their body quickly or attack or mate. Land or 60 feet. Weight or 6 times. Carnivore, Cretaceous Theory. Dressertos, who were vegetarian, that had 800 teeth. There wasn't any more of the T Rex. Length up to 30 feet. Weight up to 13 times. Cretaceous Theory. Iguanodons had five fingers and could grab things with their hands. Their thumbs had big spikes on them. Sweet! Size up to 43 feet long. Wait, over eight times. Vegan. Two brushes were invented in 1977 by Dr. William Brush. He named her them after his daughter, Tupeta. They're mainly used for royal hunt or oral hygiene and are not known to practice law. Wait. Six, wait, six ounces. Size up to ten inches. Diet, flax, disco era. Oh, that was so long. About the genius worker. Melvin the Frog is a multiple major war winning author and illustrator over one graphic novel. Known throughout the globe for his intelligence and dashing good looks, Melvin is also regarded as a key influencer in the, in the trend setting fashion guru. How can one from be so. Awesome. Scientists are working around the clock to solve this mystery. The world may never know, said the world's second smartest person. That's a genius. Fans and admirers of Melvin the Britain and all of us for one dog. Well, supplies like, buy 10. Get all of them for half the price. Very good, Melvin. Yeah, that was way better than last time. It was not the dinosaur, did it? I was going to anyway. And I'm not trying to tell or anything, but... I saw him copying out a jar of a book. Yeah, but I wasn't dressing. I was just, I was. It's okay to copy. That's how I taught myself to draw. Me too. I started copying cartoon characters that I liked. And I drew them over and over. And soon I was making up my own characters. In my own style. But it all started with copying. Ditto, dude. See? It's okay to copy. Blah. Melvin! Oh, and one more thing. You should make a fax, buddy. I didn't! Do brush it or not invented in 1977. Oh, yeah. Well, I tried to look it up, but someone started we're hogging on the computer all last night. We were working! Yeah, we were editing in our, our haiku photo comic. Check it out! First, wow. Haiku and photos. Summer star. Little flower buzz. Even new one. To see the open day. The images grow. We see a twig in her brain. But she sets a hole. From a great distance, branches peer in the sapphire in the sky. With dark light bolts. A branch is a glow for the nursery. Potential. If you look closely, you can find marvelous things. 
that we aren't to be seen. If you look closer, you might find something hidden deep in the shadow. Which of these are we? Shall we hide or brightly shine? We are very small, but the things inside our hearts is like the sky. About haiku by Sama Sarah. Haikus are pulling the sentient syllables of Nick. Haikus are pulling the sentient symbols syllables. They come from Japan. The syllables are defined into three lines, five, seven, and five. Their store detailed stories of nature and beauty and truth and simple and profound. Even though haiku may take decades to master, it is like the best one. About the point in photographer. Some of them are not in BFS, but they're persistent. But the star wants to read and disappear in a book to get lost in words. Some are dreams about dinosaurs and spring here. She also likes rose scrapes. That was one for girls. Thanks, Daddy. We're going to make a new photo comic this weekend. Sweet. You girls rule. You guys rule. Thanks. We know. Does anybody else have a comic to share? No, no. Not yet. <laughs> Well, tomorrow is our last club meeting this week, so everybody bring in your kind small. But we're not done yet, us neither. It doesn't matter, just bring us a sneak preview. And we'll have a comic club show and tell party! Hooray! Chapter 7, a novel idea. So, hey, what are you two still doing here? Hey, buddy, everyone else has gone to work on their comics. We know, but... We can't, we still can't think up any good ideas. Yeah, we still, we're still willing to be inspired. You know, girls, I've always said, things who sit around and wait for inspiration, they don't, don't deserve inspiration. inspiration. Uh, what does that mean? It means quit being lazy. Force yourself to create. Force yourself to create. We're not good at making up stories. Then write something that's true. Write about yourself. Make an autobiography comic. Ray, you can write about your feelings. And Wendy, you can write about your adventures. Hey, Daddy, can we make a true comic about you? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Come on, Daddy, it'll be fun. Well, I get Yay, we're gonna make an autobiography comic about Daddy. Yay. Wendy, you can't make an autobiography comic about me. Why? Because he doesn't drive a car, silly. Oh, yeah. No, that's not right. Okay, Daddy, tell us everything about your life. Yeah, we'll start at the beginning. Well, okay. It all started a long time ago. Chapter 8, the show and tell party. Okay, wait. Okay. The next day. Well, we come to the end of our first week. So let's party! Yeah, yeah, hooray! I made monster cheese sandwiches for everybody. And I can draw faces on them if you want. Sweet, me says, oh, oh, oh. Daddy made me a cookie. Hey, they look like the cute with fluffy cut up there. Yeah, her eyes are shocking chips. Sweet, awesome. And I made dog food brownies. They're just like regular brownies, but I rolled it into little balls. And squeeze them together. Mmm, they're disgustingly delicious. They were chubby, chubby, chubby. We baked the soup with the cake. Whoa! Hold up! Cake paws, get your cake paws here! Right here! Mmm, grassy. Hey, okay, everybody. Start our show and tell. Hope you and I will go first with a sneak peek of Squiddy Kid and Caddy Dead. What's a Caddy Dead? It's like a cricket. Oh, I knew that. So without any further ado, ah da! Squiddy Kid and Caddy Dead. An epic sneak preview by Molly and Lumpy. In a world where everyone looks the same. One kid looked different than the rest. And the so, Get lost, but kid, yes, brown, boom! Meanwhile, in a world where everyone takes the same way, Caddy did. You're 
a weirdo daddy dad. Yeah, bait him. <laughs> but watch out, world, because when these two misfits meet, things will not be the same. For cat BFS forever! This can catch it. World's greatest misfits. Coming soon! Well, what do you guys think? Um, I like it, but I was too short. Yeah, supposed to be short. It's just a preview. We're not done with the whole book yet. Oh, oh, oh! We made a preview too. It's about Daddy and the life he went before he met us. Daddy had a home, had a life before us. No way! Yeah, it's tr it's true, and we're telling his story. Check out the sneak peek. Baby Flippy, a sneak peek by Wendy and Ray. In a world filled with creatures big and small, one baby fish was the littlest of them all. Me, baby, Flippy, alone in a sea of water. Hey, fish face! Hey, a fish face! Fishy, fishy, fish face! With lost in an ocean of pale, an abandoned abyss of difference. Oh, one brave baby fish must be deep. Spike against impossible odds. When it rain proudly for then, the true story of courage. Baby, the true story of courage. Baby Flippy! Before your daddy, he was dinner. Cat Cat Con Con, near you. Well, what do you think of the. What's, what? What's wrong, kids? It's too scary, Daddy. <laughs> we don't want baby Flippy to get killed. <laughs> no, no. I didn't get killed when I was a baby. I'm here now. Am I? Oh, yeah. That means that everything worked out okay for you. Thanks, D. Thanks for the spoilers, Daddy. Yeah, now we know the ending. Does anybody else have a snake peek? We do, Daddy. We took pictures of our action figures, and we're making a comic with them. Wait a minute. I remember you buying these action figures. You didn't. We modified our broken figures using putty, glue, pipe cleaners, and paint to create all new heroes and villains. Charles Nick spider Boy. In a world, the sins are scoundrels, subjugging the, the souls of civilization. The civilization. Oh, oh, oh. A dude accidentally sat on a spider. Oh, hey, you been my bot. Sorry, but you sat on me. So we don't even pow. Oh no, you talk to spider venom. It's transforming my bot. No! I said I was sorry, jeez. Meet the hero with the heart of the warrior. And the brother Joe Joe, next, bye bye! An epic photo comic that I have the brothers. Heroic Alpha Commando Kids. And we break. Starring Ziz Goldberg as Joe Mix Spider Boy. Wade Chan as Jake the Flying Spider. Brock Manhammer as Dr. Pacey Mix Sprinkles. And introducing Scott the Worm as Scott the Worm. Coming soon, PGOG. This comic has been ready. Probably gonna be running garage with your garage door. Probably so. The bite of the base rock and hands straight out of the spawn. Nice spawn. Nice spawn. No, very good, boys. But I don't understand. How did it all be? I can figure they're broken. Oh, because we threw down all the. They broke out that by themselves by accident. All right, would anyone like? It was like to share their preview. We with Daddy. We're making a comic with clay and cardboard and stuff. I wrote the story, and we made the art. Baby Frog Squad. A story by Bill. Art by Frida, L, and Deb. Once upon a time, there are three baby frogs who went to the police academy. They study hard. Run Kung Fu and this. They wrecked lots of traffic. Crash! 
But still, they got tired of working for the man. Hey, let's bring Justin to the universe. Okay, so they build a space and blast it off. Soon, a boy was detected in 939. Let's go. And so, roar. Hey, quit pulling that wheel. You make me. Cupcakes, I am from breakfast. Who will win the epic space battle? Find out in Baby Fox Pod. Let me see. That was wonderful. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah, you did. Y'all did an awesome job this week. I can't believe that everybody made comments. Actually, I made two comments. Two award winning comments. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. No, they, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They do too. They do not. Do too. Do not. Do too. No, but nail me. I thought you were trying, you were trying to be mature, daddy. Do you need? Do you need to sit on the timeout rock? I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I I know you kids. Don't worry, daddy. It's just like we've learned this week. It's okay to fail miserably. Just remember to focus on what you love. And always try to improve. Hey, we want some of that. Yeah, let's all get out, man. Well, you can ask for a sweeter ending than that. Or a sappier one. You'll miss our next epic adventure. Cat Kid Comic Club. Book 2. Alright, here are some fun facts. You can read them if you want. In case you don't, I'll just read them myself. Notes and fun facts. John Mike Spiderbot was made from a broken action figure, epoxy, putty, and animal paint, and 40 black pipe cleaners. Chanel stem, twisted together to make his legs. The robot boy in Baby Frost Guy was made of cardboard hot glue, tapes, paper clips, and plastic salad dressing, dressing lines for the eyeballs. The baby frog and frogs in Baby Frost Guy were made with Japanese rice clay, eyes, bodies, hands, and feet, and toothpicks. Painted with acrylics and markers, lenses, and eyelashes. The pencils on page 164 are toothpicks carved with markers. Summer is Starless Poet Description Haiku on page 125 is not definitive. The art of haiku is ever evolving and has a rich, complex history. English language haiku first appeared in the late 19th century. They are based on Japanese poem called Renga, which were structured, improvised, verse poetry collaborations. On perform live. The first stanza of a Renga called the Hoku became what commonly think. We commonly think of as a as haiku. One of the oldest and most famous Japanese haiku, technically hoku, had a frog in it. Has a frog in it, breaking the silence of an ancient poem. A frog jumped into water. A deep breath. Basho. Sixteen forty four to sixteen ninety four. Translated by Nobu Yuki Yasa. That was the end of Cat Kid Comic Club One. You can read this, and that's enough for me. You can also search on Google if you want. Bye! See you in Cat Cake Comic Club 2.